And Jacob's talking about the ministry of Holy Cross. I think it's part of our ministry too as seminarians to not mm. stay, uh, you know, Holy Cross is an apostolic religious order. We're not, you know, cloistered and just to stick with the members of our community. We're supposed to go out and spread the mission of the gospel. And I think we do that a lot in how we uh, live our lives in our classes with the other students that we interact with, with the others we interact through clubs or activities that are outside of the seminary but still uh, are rooted and grounded in uh, what we do because it's from the joy that we have in seminary that we can take that and uh, display it you know, appropriately mm -hmm. in uh, whatever else we do. We're not limited into just you know, sharing our experiences, our joys here. We want to show that. We want to uh, share that with everyone else because we hope that they can find that joy too. Uh, and I'll say that again, we hope that they can find their joy. Uh, yeah. That's very big. Yeah. yeah, I think, and you know, building onto that, there's a very important part of uh, freshman years, you know, one, meeting new people, meeting people on campus, getting into the flow of things. Uh, did you want to talk, maybe we could talk a little bit about how people respond to us when they learn that we're seminarians, uh, what kind of questions yeah. they ask, and and then along with being involved on the campus community, we can talk maybe a little bit about uh, things we do on campus, different groups that we're a part of, uh, and just yeah. various such things. Sure. <laughs> so um, a typical part of the Notre Dame experience in the early days of classes is to, you know, say who you are, where you're from, what dorm you're part of, and uh, what's your major. So. For me, I would get up and say, I'm John, I'm uh, from Cleveland, I'm intending on ma majoring in American Studies, and I'm uh, living in Old College, which would be met with a, a lot of si a si a silence <laughs> is what I got often, and yes. people would just think they knew what it was all about. And then in conversations later, uh, I'd you know, say the word seminary, and they'd be a little thrown off by that. <laughs> I, what, what do you mean, seminary? It's like, that's yes. what Old College is. So then, seminary isn't that where they bury dead people? That's not quite. That's a question I Not quite once. Notre Dame students, no. <laughs> so, but from that, I was then able to, I guess you know, have them have their attention captivated in a bit because they were intrigued by um, why would someone want to be in seminary while also a student at Notre Dame? Why would you know someone so young with their whole life ahead of them want to be in seminary? To which I then got to uh, explain my story, explain that um, in a sense I'm here because uh, you know I want to be, but in a greater sense it's uh, my vocation. I feel called to be here. I feel uh, called to live this life with my brothers and community. I feel called to share and unite my experiences of university life and seminary life together to make my, like I said before, make myself into a better person rooted in a greater understanding of my vocation and how I can best serve God and build up the kingdom of God here. Um, and I think that's hopefully what I was able to share with my fellow classmates in those early conversations about what old college is and to maybe uh, dispel some of their ignorance and help them uh, get a better understanding that it's not just, uh, you know, boring old people who are in seminary <laughs> or priesthood, that there's, you know, young, yes. vibrant people like myself. Yeah, uh, Old College is not a very big building, and it's it's pretty frequent that you hear laughter coming from the upper floors all the way down to the lower floors. Uh, and I think that's just that's such an important aspect of who we are as a seminary, who we are as a community, um, and how we interact with you know the larger community. We aren't, like you said, cloistered. We aren't we aren't away. And uh, I don't know so for me personally, like. I joined the running club on campus, and we work as seminarians in a group. We uh, help run adoration, and we serve masses. We're very involved in both campus ministry and different organizations. We have uh, a seminarian in the liturgical choir. Um, we have multiple seminarians played on an inter-hall football team. Uh, we're kind of, as seminarians, uh, considered like free agents. <laughs> we can sign up with whatever hall we would like to. Uh, and so, yes, having, having that involvement is really crucial because it allows us to display the community that's here. Um, and I, I think if the community was self-contained, if we never left this building, it would be diminished in a way because the the joy we have, the the ridiculousness of some people in old college, uh, of actually all people in old <laughs> college were a little crazy sometimes. Uh, 
the nature of that community is to spread and to overflow and to invite people in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, I mean, other experiences that have been very uh, important and memorable for me uh, since being here, my, you know, first few months of my first year at Old College, uh, every Tuesday night we have, as first years, we have formation meetings where we meet with uh, Father Brian, our rector, and Brian Williams, our assistant rector, and then usually, uh, you know, another person involved with campus ministry, another seminarian who's uh, ahead in uh, formation, just comes and talks to us about, you know, how to live this life, how to make uh, ourselves understand what we're doing, how to get out of it something, like what we should be getting out of, how to understand it, how to uh, enter more fully into the experience that is seminary life. That's very important for me, I know, because we go from these formation meetings, conferences, into uh, Mass at the Log Chapel. Uh, and it's the Log Chapel is a replica of the uh, original building that was on campus here when Father Soren founded the university. But to go in there, where the university was founded, it's a very small, intimate space. And to be in there with the thoughts and insights that I've just gotten from the formation conference, it's, it always hits me in a very personal way, a way that um, it's, it's unique because I'm just there in the moment with so many like spiritual thoughts going around that I never thought I'd be having, and then I get to share in what is the source and summit of our Christian life, the celebration of the Eucharist. So Tuesday night, Log Chapel Masses are just incredible.